So the scripture for today is from the epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 20, and it reads, By a new and living way. And the meditation is the following. This was a new way because it was a living way. Often people only seek in the gospel a means of passing through the valley of death. They do not seek in it assistance and instructions for life. But when Christ approaches the soul, he opens for it a new and living way. He reveals to us that eternity has begun for us already now and that we can come to know it without waiting for death. He reveals to us that communion with God is achievable not only after death, but in life as well, and that offering our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God for right-minded worship, as it says in the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 1, already here on earth we receive the kingdom of God through communing and uniting with the Lord moving like the Israelites through the desert of life, we can no longer be hungry or thirsty since the Savior is walking ahead of us. And in him we receive on a daily basis the grace which saves us, the light which illuminates, and the bread of life and source of truth which fills and strengthens our souls. Without God's grace, without faith and love, we travel the path of sin, the way of self-love, pleasures, frivolousness, the wide way which does not lead to the kingdom of God. The new way is the way of self-denial, the way of love for one's neighbor, the narrow way which is often thorny. We must follow it with the burden of the cross, but it will lead us to the Lord. And the bright hope of eternal life, the hope of being united with the Lord, will support us on this way. Following his footsteps, we cannot go astray. Leaning on him, we will not grow weak along the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life, as it says in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6. We need only to have our eyes open and be vigilant and to seek and desire this way all our lives. Lord, will I truly surrender to you only at the hour of my death? Show me the living way. Teach me the holy life which you were already given in Bethlehem and then in Nazareth and on Golgotha. Help me walk with you along the living way. Grant me in this earthly life the might of immortality, and amid the full bloom of life, teach me to completely renounce my will by submitting it to your will. Amid work, amid cares, amid struggles, in the hours of silent sorrow, in grief and joy, in sickness and in health, in poverty and prosperity, help me to submit to you completely and say, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit, as Christ said on the cross, as indicated in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 46. Then my earthly life will be a living way to heaven.